Hey guys, what's up? It's Steel Star here, and today we are playing some Outlast. I know I've played on the channel before, but I thought it'd be cool to do some collectibles. Okay, so our first collectible is automatically obtained at the beginning. It says, you don't know me, have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software console at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of ND NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government sec secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards.
Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider Therapy Status Patient Claims to Have Progressed to Self Directed Lucid Dream States Morphogenic Engine Activity Observed at Unprecedented Scale Continuing Stage 4 Hormone Schedule Diagnostics Spirometry Revealed No Bronchial Accumulation Hemotocrit Centrifuge Again Failed to Separate I don't even know how to say all these terms. Highly wor- worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM slash NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. No, the only Traeger on com- company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood. Burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their bed is a Murkoff advanced research systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tell me to get the fuck out and then dies would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came.
little pig. <laughs> Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. play the second one but I definitely I think I'm this one So what's kind of annoying here is that I had <clears throat> read this while I was recording, but my voice or whatever, it just, it kept like getting loud at some points and then getting really low and skipping. I think it does that with Streamlabs and stuff when the volume's too high, like then you have audio issues. So I'm going to just voice over this part like I've been doing. So it says, in the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road 112, affidavits have having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with an imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the ensuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Mirkoff Corp. or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions, regardless of responsibility. Footsteps. Hey, what's up, guys? Anything new? Like, dead. That's kind of it. Hopefully this is okay. Project Wall Rider, case number one thirty six. Um, patient initial C L W. Consultation dated two thousand thirteen May twenty eighth. Initial date of patient consult uh, January twenty eighth two thousand eleven. Patient age thirty two. Male. Therapy status: morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly. 2,000 ppm, unsafe to progress, beyond stage 3 hormone schedule, diagnostics, spirit, spirit, spirometry, revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation, MRI scans consistent with patient's reported treatments, interview notes, 
Hooker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. His extensive dermal eruptions as consistent failed morphogenic engine cellular. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with two Atar Terra lizards and their perennial eyes. I don't, I don't know how to say that. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch further self mutilation the mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. Continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. A broken memoir, dead chin. They look like patients. They survive whatever happened. He's home. be all to hell, picking broken glass out of my skull, a couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant, looks like somebody tried to fuck start his head with the cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious, I wake up in some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler, in a homemade priest office outfit, calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them, and for my benefit.
The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for Chris Walker, ex-military police. Several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. From Helen Grant, Dear Sirs, the full report pending no immediate action is required on the part of the Mirkoff Corporation. The profit potential of Project Wallrider remains staggeringly high. The four casualties contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is co correctly managed, impossible. Project Wallrider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granite. MK Ultra Program, CIA document number 19691, page 1, excerpt. To file subject hypnotic experimentation and research, February 10, 1954. On Wednesday, February 10, 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. 1. A post-hypnotic of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms 
in any fashion that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, How in a, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. In failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused, in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Ooh, I remember when I first played this part, and it was so annoying to me. Who's there?
You see, I told you guys that part could be annoying because you just run into that guy a lot. My son, I didn't want to have to do this to you, but you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only way out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel. All doors will open before you. Oh no, I don't like this room. Can I get a refund? The priest, Father Martin, brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernicke is at the center of whatever went wrong here. But he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. I do 
blood if they want to get out. I can feel. Don't trust them. They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us really? in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. I am. Wait until I finish. Oh, but I say so for you. Just wait. Oh, wait. Good Patient art program, patient father mark, Archimbal. Helen, Dr. Zeichner gave me our info to contact regarding the cancellation of the arts program. My patient, Martin Archimbal, has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger pain. Just in the week since canceling the arts program, his schizoaffective assertions, some higher calling, accelerated enormously. Please just let the man finger paint. A few dollars you're saving on temper paint is more than swallowed by the cost of clothes of paint. I can't imagine the logic at play here. Unless Murkoff wants our patients to become more disengaged from reality. Please advise. Dr. Neil Wolfram. <laughs>
he gonna open this locker? Need golden. Okay. For now. that other guy went chasing Maintenance memo. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Wall Rider security. Please refer to Murkoff Corporation Maintenance Manual MMPSMM18286 or seek guidance from a supervisor with the proper security clearance. the metro metro fuck this pit place seriously just fuck this place. dying keeps moving lower in the list of the worst things that can happen total security i can't shake chris walker the big ugly f likes ripping off people's heads i hear him muttering about security protocols containment what if he's not the problem what if he's trying to fix it
He was in here. Yep. Death certificate of Warnicky off psychiatric systems, subcon 148616, no surviving state of Colorado, hold to light the view watermark. File number 8732, Place, Colorado, Mount Massive Preserve. Rudolf Gustav Warren, length of residence in city or town where death occurred. Zero years, seven months. Oh, how long in the U.S. if or of foreign birth? 55 years. Sex. Male. Color or race? White. Single. October 20th, 1918. Date of death? February 20th. The 8th Governor Germany, I hereby certify that I attended deceased from June 4th, 2003 or to February 28th, 2009, that I saw him alive on February 27th, 2009, that death occurred on the date stated above, 4-11 and Principal cause of death and related causes of importance were as follows. Heart failure due to advanced age. This is to certify that this is a true and correct copy of the official record.
Okay, so it says, Dr. Rudolf G. Wernicke, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communication for a paper written with early computing pioneer Alan Turing. After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he emigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research in Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Wernicke retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work. For the Murkoff Corporation, a statement from the company calls Dr. Wernicke a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Art. The word wall writer is all over this place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider, but the patients talk about the wall rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or demon, something they found in the mountain. 
I chalk it up to schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something, maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera, or maybe this place is getting to me. says found with scrawled in pencil on the back of an admittance form. Handwriting matches samples from patient Father Martin Archambault. This God is real. What we've mistaken so long for ghosts, spirits, madness. We were only willfully ignorant. The scales on Saul's eyes were fear, and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall rider. The Gospel of Sand, the greatest sin in the world, is willful ignorance of God to receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock. This place, to stand in the way of salvation, is a sin for which there is no punishment too great.
can tell we're the same. You still know what's real. The doctor's dead. You know that, right? Dr. Varnicase. It died before he even started working here. What kind of experiments does a dead doctor perform on living patients? That's the question. Still bleeding, but it doesn't hurt anymore. I almost have quiet. Can't hear the wall rider anymore. Maybe the therapy is wearing. Remember the dreams. Said I could earn my release from this place by submitting to the therapy. Lies. Of course they were lies. It was not therapy. We were sacrificed to conjure a demon. Please let there be no dreams. The only.
I didn't want to go. Reach the ground for it. So, I'm gonna go back. Here we go. I thought this sewer couldn't smell any worse. Hundreds of bodies crammed. To a room, thousands of flies. Is this the priest's way out? So now we're good. Move on. It's forgotten. some pain. The harder I try to escape, the further I get into this god-awful place, like fighting a top. They've been torturing people in the basement by method. Written on the wall, fingers first, then balls, then tongue. Somebody's managing the torture, instructing them.
This patient also unfortunately didn't make it. I tried my best, but I'm just a doctor, not a miracle worker. I'm pretty new to this whole doctor thing, so I'm still working out all the kinks. Anywho, somebody's gonna gotta cut the fat from this Project Wall Rider disaster. We've been bleeding money ever since this thing went tits up on account of that Billy kid. But I've managed to slim back personnel by more than 80 people, which means short-term savings in salary, long-term savings in pension and healthcare costs. And I've been figuring out a lot about biology. I was on the fence about it before, but now I can say with absolute certainty that a person can't live without his kidney. I learn something new every day. Uh, new? That was news to you? I forgot about that. Love how much I made. Hey, you're that bullshit priest's guy, aren't you? <sighs> His witness or whatever, you must be exhausted. Huh? Let's take a break, huh, buddy? The old two martini lunch? Hmm? Have a little confab, blah, blah. blah. Well, you're then you look. A little cardio wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go, arms and legs inside the car at all times. <laughs> no, 
know, I love the mountain air up here at night. You, you want to head out and take a stroll? <laughs> Go ahead, I'll wait here. <laughs> Go on, run free. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. No? All right. Nose to the grindstone, I like that. Okay, Dan, right this way. I better not tongue any use anyway. Frizzy told I was just tired of licking my own stands. Here we are then. Uh, thanks so much for coming by. We'll begin your consultation in a moment. We'll just need a second to wash up and, uh, oh, no movie. And it'll give us a chance to talk. You know, I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know, I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier-than-thou Bible thumping. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. It's understandable. Many people get scared. They just like to turn to God as anything else. I mean, God died with the gold standard. We're on to a more concrete faith now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Well, money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. To make you believe. You paying attention? Don't pass that on me. There's so much to absorb. We made the consumer to the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself. Zernike's nightmares. He worked so well. They can control it. And you can't control it. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody! He'll fight you. He'll kill you. He's coming now. Dragons!
like the quitter. <laughs> I see what's happening here. You're bored. You want a little attention. Perfectly understandable. I'm here for you. I'll give you very special attention. <laughs> Okay, so it says, Traeger, sick fucker cut my fingers off, has tortured and mangled dozens of patients. I watch him murder another one, nothing I can do about it. Talks like a white-collar business school douchebag. Probably has a set of golf clubs in the trunk of his Audi. I'd bet the rest of my fingers he was Murkoff brass before whatever's infected this place changed him. I want out of this place. I want my fucking fingers back. I want to see Traeger die.
To whom it may concern, this is the third time asking for reassignment after two months without an answer. I don't want to work at Mount Massive anymore. I have been an orderly my entire adult life, but have never experienced such a consistent level of secrecy and disrespect. I even have suspicions that some of the patients may be being abused. I know personally of two of them who have been moved to the basement ward and never returned. If I don't get an answer to this email, I will be forced to resign. It may very well consider contacting the press. Thanks for your time. David Annapurna. around. squeeze. God, you survived. I feared that secular maniac would carve you up like the others. Meet me outside. We're close now.
Mr. Walsh, please accept the immediate resignation of Orderly 5320, David Annapurna, and process him as a patient of Mount Asif to treat his persecutorial delusions. Treatment should continue until the time of his death. Thanks, buddy. Rick Traeger. took so much from us, used us, turned us into these things because nobody cares about a few forgotten lunatics. So let it burn. Burn the whole goddamn thing down. Get up. You are going to be get up from the kitchen. I'm not the only victim here, not by a long shot. I watch a man wait to burn to death, the most painful death imaginable, rather than stay in this place.
If you're seeing things, say something. There's no shame in psychopathological proximity stress disorder. Talk to your supervisor to get help from a Murkoff success counselor.
Hughes has it. There we go. We have to wash every little bit.
Okay guys, I thought I'd take advantage of this load button and say goodbye for now. This is the end of part one. Like I said, I know that I have played Outlast in the past, but I wanted to play again. And I thought I'd just play it for the channel. Why not? What the heck? Thank you for joining me. I very much enjoy this game. And I look forward to playing more with you later. I hope you have a great day and I hope you take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.